Most parents think that they should listen to their instincts when it comes to parenting, but where sleep is concerned, that's the worst thing you could do. I mean, if parenting was all based on instincts, then why are billions of dollars spent on books, therapies, sleep aids and classes? It's because science is showing us that there is a better way to raise our little ones so that they thrive in their development and we set them up for a brighter future with long-term health benefits. In fact, one specific mistake that proactive parents make when using their instincts is that they try tiring their child out in order to get them to sleep better at night. And I get it, it seems logical, but it's actually the worst thing you can do for your child. You see, when your little one is overtired, they release more cortisol, the hormone associated with stress, and it's like adrenaline. They become wired and they find it harder to settle to sleep. It can cause bedtime battles, being awake multiple times in the night, and waking super early for the day, which means you and your little one are both going to be more exhausted on a consistent basis. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into where you should not listen to your instincts when it comes to getting your little one high quality restorative sleep. But before we get into that, can you do me a huge favour by liking this video and subscribing if you haven't? It'll help us reach more mums and dads so that together we can ensure every child and parent gets peaceful sleep. Now, let's get into it. So, another mistake us mums tend to make when trusting our instincts is when we instinctively cradle our babies and rock them in our arms because it's soothing for them and it helps them to calmly lull off to sleep. That's totally fine in the early weeks, but it's not sustainable long term. Soon enough, it will stop working and you'll need a new way to get your little one to sleep. And that's the thing with sleep. The best solutions are often counterintuitive. So I want you to stop beating yourself up for trying everything and feeling at a loss as to how to get your little one to sleep because it's not instinctive. Sleep is a deeply complex and scientific topic. If it were easy, we would all know the answers by now, but there are a huge number of nuances that make the solution unique for every person and circumstance. In fact, after working with thousands of mums like you, we've come to learn the ins and outs of this fascinating subject and we put all of that in-depth research into the Mind Your Sleep method, which we teach inside the Dream Maker Sleep program. That enables you to carefully craft the ideal approach and pathway to overcoming your little one's sleep difficulties for the long term. You see, most sleep solutions are short-lived. Little ones grow and change and a new challenge arises. With Dream Maker's lifetime access and support, we've got you covered. In fact, let me tell you about one of our clients, Laura. She came to me for help because her son, Alfie, was waking at 5 a.m. every morning. She was finding it impossible to get through her working day and was beginning to get sleepy behind the wheel when driving, so she knew this couldn't carry on. Laura felt like she'd tried everything. She limited his nap time, tried putting him to bed later in hope that he would wake later in the morning. She just felt at a loss and at her wit's end for what to do. What Laura was trying was instinctive. She was doing what came naturally to her as a mother. And yet she had no idea it was making the problem much, much worse. Once I showed Laura how Alfie was so overtired and that he actually needed more sleep in the day and earlier nights, we soon replenished his rest and he began to sleep through the night until 6.30 a.m. every day. Laura could start her days refreshed and ready to do a great job at work and be a great mum to Alfie, who was happier, far happier at nursery. He was eating better and managing to settle calmly at bedtime. Now, if you want to feel like Laura, then I invite you to check out my free ebook so that your child has the best start in life with the deep, nourishing sleep that they need for optimal brain development and less risk of medical problems down the line. We want to help you get sleep on track now and for the long term. So I have a surprise for you below to get you started right now. 
go ahead, take that first step by clicking the link around this video. And I'm here to help you live the happiest and healthiest life with your little one. And lastly, I want to hear from you. Where have you been relying on your instincts when it comes to your parenting? And do you agree that instincts aren't always the best route to go with? As a loving parent, let me know in the comments below.